Welcome to ADHD Whiskey, my name is Matt. Today, we're talking about the best bourbons you can buy under 100 bucks. It's 2023 and bourbon prices are through the roof. But guess what? There's still bargains out there, bro. Or the female version of bro. And the funny thing is, when I started making this list, I was like, wow, this list hasn't really changed a lot in the last few years. The best bourbons under $100 a few years ago, most of them are still under 100 bucks. There are a few new ones sprinkled in, and I'm sure I'm also missing a bunch, and that's where you come in. In the comments below, you gotta tell me which bourbons I'm missing. But let me go ahead and get this list started with some barrel strength buggers. First of all, we got bullet barrel strength. Bullet barrel strength is gonna run you between 45 and 60 bucks, and it's a delicious high rye bourbon. Can't go wrong with a little bullet barrel strength. If you're looking for something with a similar profile, and you have a few extra bucks to spare, Four Roses single barrel comes in at around a hundred bucks. That's the barrel strength varietal. A lot of Four Roses fans out there, and I can't really blame them. This is some really good stuff. Other barrel strength bourbons around the fifty to sixty dollar price point include Wild Turkey's Rare Breed, one hundred and sixteen point eight proof Wild Turkey Distillate, so stinking good. And from the Barton seventeen ninety two distillery, that's right, seventeen ninety two full proof. A really sweet 125 proof offering from Barton that'll light up your taste buds but won't light up your credit card statement. Moving to the Heaven Hill Distillery, we have a couple barrel strength offerings, also still under 100 bucks. Probably gonna pay between 70 and 80 for these bottles, but the weeded variety, Larceny Barrel Proof, a lot of people love it. And of course, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, one of the best budget bourbons well, maybe not a budget bourbon, but one of the best bargains in bourbon. Even though the flavor profile has changed a bit over the last few years, still a tremendous value at a roughly 10 to 12 year old bourbon under a hundred bucks. Moving on, another whiskey that'll light up your taste buds is a Tennessee whiskey, but still technically a bourbon. Jack Daniels Barrel Proof is En Fuego, which is on fire in Spanish, I believe. If it's not, then that's just because I'm dumb. If you like a sweet, fruity, high-proof bourbon, Jack Daniels Barrel Proof can be had for around 70 or 80 bucks and could also be considered for the best bargain in bourbon in 2023. A couple not-so-popular bourbons, Backbone Bourbon, tremendous value, around 60 to $70. Some of these Backbone Bourbon single barrels are like eight plus year MGP bourbon, which is what my Slip and Jimmy pick is and also Slippin' Jimmy 2 coming out in the near future from Backbone Bourbon, another ADHD single barrel pick, eight and a half year, 21% rye MGP bourbon, gonna rock your socks. Tremendous value, Backbone Bourbon Uncut. And Boulder Cask Strength, if you can find one in your area, it's a high malt bourbon whiskey and offers major taste for not major bucks. Boulder Cask Strength, super solid bourbon, and definitely one to go to if you want to keep things a little bit cheaper than, you know, Benjamins on Benjamins. Knob Creek Single Barrel, 120 proof, a tremendous pour, especially if you like a nuttier profile. Near cask strength Knob Creek Single Barrels will be right up your alley. By the way, another ADHD Knob Creek pick coming very soon. Already picked it, just waiting for it to be bottled. Sticking with Knob Creek, the Knob Creek 12 year, can be had for 70 or 80 bucks. It's 12 year, 100 and proof Jim Beam distillate. And I don't know, it's probably one of the best 12 year old bourbons on the market that you can pick up for under a hundred bucks. Just a super solid, delicious pour that you kind of can't go wrong with. Knob Creek 12 is a great pickup if you're looking for a solid taster under a hundred bucks. Few more left here. Nelson Greenbrier Reserve, 107.8 proof. It's not bell meat anymore, but the flavor profile on this is rich and sweet, about 60 bucks, and you get yourself a roughly 108 proof bourbon that's pretty dang tasty. And Ben Holiday Bottled and Bond, I know it's not like a super bargain, but for $60, it is something that you can go to for a little bit off of the traditional trail and still really, really tasty. And you're supporting small businesses from a craft distillery. Ben Holiday, Missouri Straight Bourbon Whiskey Bottled and Bond, super dang good. 
Then we have Russell's Single Barrel. Russell's Reserve Single Barrel, 110 proof, aged usually between eight and 11 years old. A lot of wild turkey geeks out there go crazy about which warehouse these things were picked from and on which floor and all that stuff. But this non-chill filtered wild turkey product, even though the prices have increased on them in the past few years, are still great bourbons that you can pick up for under 100 bucks. By the way, ADHD Whiskey Russell's Reserve Pick coming to Patreon next Friday the 27th. This list wouldn't be complete if I didn't point out Old Forester 1920 Prohibition style, 115 proof offering from Old Forester. Probably my favorite Old Forester offering outside of like, you know, the really hard ones to find, President's Choice and the 117 series. Prohibition style 1920 for around 60 bucks is a heck of a pickup, especially if you haven't tried it before. In my opinion, this is what Old Forester is all about right here. And then last but certainly not least, Probably my favorite bourbon, around $100 right now. Some places you can find it for $99, maybe a tiny bit more, maybe a tiny bit less, hard to say. But I'm absolutely in love with this weeded Lux Real product, Rebel 10 Year, 100 proof. It's just a super solid sipper. They're single barrels and they do age actually a bit over 10 years old, some of them 12, 13 years old. If you look at the barrel fill date on them, it'll kind of let you in on the little secret of how old the bugger actually is. Rebel 10 year rounds out my list of best bourbons you can buy in 2023 under a hundred bucks. So that's gonna do it for my list. In the comments below, let me know what I missed. What would you have put on this list? What did I put on the list that you don't agree with? Let's spark up a little bit of a conversation, shall we? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up. Thank you for hitting the subscribe button. And until next time, my name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. And like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on cleaning out your dryer vents because I just got a stacked washer and dryer installed after they took out the old one that didn't work. And guess what? The dryer doesn't work because it says that my vent is plugged. So that means I'm gonna to have to rent an appliance dolly, try to pull the washer and dryer out from its tiny little closet, clear the vent out myself and, you know, put it back in, which is a major pain in the bottom. Should have definitely checked it before the new washer and dryer got put in. But like a lot of things I do or don't do, I just wasn't very smart about it. So be smarter than me and check your vent on your dryer to make sure it's clear. Otherwise, you may not have a dryer working properly, like me. Dang it, son of a bee.